Welcome to the channel guys, this is Slight. Today we're going to be putting the Gears Racing front fork drop-ins, right? This is just the install. We're not gonna be doing any of the actual adjustments or any of that type of stuff. Um, there will be a few things that will be overlapped, so I'm gonna make a different video for the fork seals. That way, if you're not doing this and just doing fork seals, you can, you can follow along with that as well. This is the third video in a series of, it should be five. So the first video was unboxing, second video was uh, the rear suspension then now we're doing the front suspension I did do a review just specifically on the rear that's going to be added to the review in the fifth video on this series just so then if you didn't want to actually do this kind of know what you're looking at um, but um, we're going to be starting to do this now again huge thanks to gears racing for sending this to me so we're going to actually use the lower tree stand this is actually an attachment for the stand that i had originally the problem with it is the the forks at the bottom or the legs aren't long enough so i have to put wood underneath you can see it's off the ground right so you can do that you can do a stand i've seen people use ladders you, there's many different ways you can do they just because it's not an actual full frame bike you can't really use a lower stand you can jack up the rear portion of it but again now you're tipping this is the safest way to do it as far as i'm concerned we're going to continue on with this okay so with a 17 mil wrench you can loosen these with it actually still in or on the bike uh, it's easier to do it that way that way you're not fighting with it when it's off if you have a stand or um, you can get fork um, like they're like vices that can hold on to it this works just as easy most people won't have those tools so I'm gonna end up showing you how to do this one so so again we're just cracking them loose that way we can take them apart uh, next we're gonna do the lights So they actually don't use zip ties, they're uh, like a screw. So next step will be removing the wheel. Take it completely out, put a couple threads in, and you can just push this. The caliper off of this bracket, we're also going to take the fender off. Okay, we're just going to tie up the brake. Last thing is, is taking these off. We're just going to loosen them off. And then the last bolt, you're going to want to hold this, hold the fork because it will fall down. Okay, so at the bottom there's a bolt here. We have to actually take that out. That is going to be an H6, but you're gonna need a longer one. So you're gonna to have to excuse the mess around here, but. Okay, that's loose. Okay, so with pushing this down, you're gonna be moving this completely off. Ok, 
Trying to get everything out. That's that a little fresh washer. So this will be your fork piston and the rebound spring. Now, because I'm already here, I'm gonna be taking the fork dust seal, the spring, and the actual oil seal. I'm gonna take them off. And then to get the inside one, you just have to pull it apart pretty quick. Okay, so basically what they want you to do is they want you to take off two millimeters off the top here, either a lathe or any way to actually do that because you need the, the guts out of that, so the bearing stuff. Um, so I don't have a lathe, not one that would work for this anyways, um, and most people won't have that at home anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it at the two millimeters and then I'm going to trim it off using a grinder. Very light disc and then uh, I'll, I'll show you that. Okay so basically what they're going to do is it's about a millimeter off of this mark. So there's collars here right up top there so we're just going to trim it down until you can see this because all you're doing is getting rid of the mushroom portion that holds that on. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to come through. So I'm gonna cut it through even further. Okay, so I've knocked off the one outside piece now. Now I'm gonna go in further. So now I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna be measuring off of that one mil. Okay, right off that ridge. Okay, so we're trimming it out a little bit and so I can pull that out now. So that's that stuff, so now you can put it back together. Okay, so when you're doing the gears racing thing, you have to actually cut two millimeters off of this, the back side of there, because inside here is this bearing. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that out and that's gonna slide this out. Uh, if you don't do that, that won't clear, right? So it is something you do need to do. So we're gonna put this back together now. And uh, they do give you crush washers. Honda one is 905442830000. Those are for the bolt that goes at the bottom. Um, we're gonna end up using theirs just because they're there. Why not, right? Okay, so that's that. You take these apart. Honda does a kit for the um, dust seal and the oil seal, so we're going to put that in now. Okay, so right there, you put that in. This is a 41. See how it actually changes a little bit of an audio tune? Okay, so that's the seals. Okay, so now we're going to be putting the fluid in it. So we're going to be using uh, Owens fork oil. Um, they were telling me to using five weight, so we're going to end up doing that. We're going to give Honda's spec. Now, they also give me a spec afterwards, but I don't know how much is supposed to be put in. Um, I pulled out uh, just under 14 ounces, so um, Honda says for 14 point, I think 14.6. We're going to put that in and then we're going to level it out afterwards.
bringing it in and out 20 times. But we're going to get all of this in first and then we're going to do that. Okay, so <clears throat> they're saying 120 millimeters. So that's 120 millimeters there. So this needs to be 20, threads would be 20.5, which is actually almost 21. So we can put this together. Okay, so there's a tool that actually pull, like goes into these holes. If you can see, there's like a flat surface there. So I just modified uh, vice grips. So to hold, we need to do 13.3, I believe. Yeah, 13.3 uh, 13 foot pounds. So then now we just got to tighten this up. Okay, so we're going to be putting it back up now. We're just going to tighten them down right now. We're not actually going to torque them yet. We'll torque them afterwards. Okay, so we're pretty much going to be doing the exact same thing on the other side. It's literally the exact same thing. We'll come back after we're done. Okay, so now that that, that's together, we're going to end up torquing these. So top one's 20. And the bottom's 24. Okay, so we're gonna end up putting the fender back on. Okay, so this is 38 foot pounds. All right, and then you gotta seat the front brake pad. Okay. Hand tight these for now. Okay, instead of setting these down, we're gonna bring this down, jounce it a few times, that way it centers on the axle. Then we ended up tightening that down afterwards. So that's pretty much it. So.
next one will be how to adjust it. The following one will be full on review on it. But uh, anyways, uh, if you like this channel, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.